Welcome to Ucanic today here on Ucanic. We have our 2012 Toyota Camry. And on this Toyota Camry, we're going to go over how you diagnose the code that comes on. So the check engine light is on. So we're going to turn the key on to the accessory position. We have an OBD2 scanner hooked up to the OBD2 reader. And then we're going to go through the, the main screen here and we're going to hit diagnostic and it says we got our check engine light on and so we're going to read those codes and in that code we're going to see what the stored codes are and so this is, says we got two codes one of two and so we have the P0102 which is the mass or volume airflow is low and then if you hit down you can see the other one is the intake temperature sensor circuit is high. So they're built into the same thing it seems like. So we'll go and find where the mass airflow sensor is and go over how you would replace the mass airflow sensor on your Toyota Camry. So the mass airflow sensor is right here and you've got the connector here. So you're just going to squeeze that connector and pull it undone. And then we've got two um, Phillips screw heads to be removed here to pull this mass airflow sensor out and like I said this is the air box and it's right there before it goes into the intake. There's a standard screwdriver, uh, standard Phillips I should say, of a P2. We'll take these out and then you're just going to want to pull this up and out and see this has got two sensors built into it reading your temperature and reading the flow that goes through. So you can take a new one and we just put it put it in make sure that the o-ring was in there and put it in and then just start the screws and just tighten them in and then clamp them together and that's how you replace your mass airflow sensor on your vehicle and now we'll go through to delete the code and make sure it doesn't come back So we've come back, we've started the card, the code's still on. The code will essentially reset itself if you drive it a few cycles or more. Um, it'll reset for the fact that it'll talk to the ECU and it'll communicate with it. But you can go through and just, we can go through and remove it now. So we go back to our main screen here, the diagnostic menu. We go down, we hit erase codes, we say yes, because we know we've replaced the part. And then you can go back um, into the diagnostic. I didn't mean to do it that way. Um, it's saying that the check engine lights off. We can check for their stored codes. There's no codes in there because we cleaned them. Start the car and just go ahead and start it a few times. And that way you make sure that that code has, um, doesn't come back right on and then you would be uh, set to go. And you know, mass airflow sensor is a good thing to be um, on top of because it can cause your car to run really um, rough. It can cause it to co your fuel mileage to go down. And it, because as it talks to the ECU and all those things, it will be able to cause some issues there. So those are things you want to be able to look for when you're doing your mass airflow sensor. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.